I'm Paul Junkin, and this is my DIY electric mini bike. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy, but I can put an end to your fears. Let me show you a place where you gon' wanna move your feet until they start to bleed. DJ, take it away tonight. bike is assembled. Now let's dive into some of the key components that I created to make this project possible. I started with the pre-built frame that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. This saved me a lot of time and effort since I didn't need to weld a frame from scratch. For the motor mount, I used some angle iron and flat iron, which I welded together to create a sturdy platform for the motor. I made sure to use the existing slots in the frame to allow for easy tensioning of the belt. Now let's calculate the top speed of the mini bike. The motor has a 12 tooth pulley and the rear wheel has a 108 tooth pulley. This gives us a gear ratio of nine to one. With the motor spinning at 3000 RPM, we divide this by our gear ratio to find the RPM of the back wheel, which is approximately 333 RPM. The diameter of the back wheel is 16 inches, so converting this to feet, we get 1.33 feet. To find the circumference in feet, we multiply the diameter by pi, giving us approximately 4.18 feet. To determine the top speed, we multiply the wheel RPM by the wheel circumference, giving us a speed in feet per minute. To convert this to miles per hour, we multiply by 60 and then divide by 5,280. This calcula calculation gives us a top speed of approximately 15.87 miles per hour. After doing this calculation, I created this 3D model of the 5M pulley in Fusion 360. I used the existing mounting plate on the back of the wheel to attach this pulley. Here I'm welding together angle iron and flat iron that I used for the motor mount. And these slots are how I tension the belt. All right, let's dive into the electronics behind this setup. At the heart of controlling the speed of our electric mini bike is the PWM speed controller. This controller has a variable input that accepts a resistance range of 0 to 100 kilo ohms. By adjusting this resistance, 
you change the duty cycle of the PWM signal, which in turn adjusts the motor speed. To interface with this PWM controller, I used a Hall Effect throttle from an e-bike. The Hall Effect throttle generates a varying voltage signal based on how much you twist the throttle. This signal needs to be converted into a 0 to 100 kilo ohm resistance range that our PWM controller understands. The Arduino reads the output from the Hall Effect throttle and converts it into a corresponding resistance value. This output is then used to control the PWM speed controller. However, the Arduino requires a stable 5 volt power supply. To get this, I added a DC to DC converter. This converter takes the 12 volts from the battery and steps it down to 5 volts. This prevents the Arduino from overheating. Here I am testing the motor controller with the potentiometer disconnected. As you can see, the e-bike throttle is controlling the PWM motor controller through the Arduino. I designed this box and lid in Fusion 360 to house all the electronic components. This mounts to the frame of the mini bike and has threaded holes for attaching the lid. And this is what the completed electronics portion looks like. And there you have it, my custom built electric mini bike from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating the bike. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer anything.